Shalom Divine. How are you guys doing today? I hope your spirits find you well. Thank you for joining me on this transformational journey. My name is KB. And just in case you anybody's new, welcome. This is a spiritual channel, a spiritual healing journey that I'm on, and I'm just sharing. So today I just wanted to talk about, I know it's been a while, it seems like it's been a minute, because you know I was up to posting like every day for the detox. I'm going to make a separate video on that detox. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> but um, yeah, it's, it seems like it's been forever and a day, but it hasn't really. It's like maybe been two days since I posted, right? But anyway, I wanted to talk about boundaries. I felt that um, I felt moved to speak on boundaries. And boundaries are so important inside the matrix, inside this world that we live in, because these spirits are something else. I will tell you, there are there's spirits that get inside of people, walk-ins, and just people who don't protect their vessel are easily manipulated by spirits, and uh, they will overstep their boundaries. This is why you have to constantly reiterate and create boundaries for yourself. Because if you don't, your world will be messed up. You'll be depressed. Your world will be chaotic. You'll be miserable if you don't create boundaries for yourself. Now, everybody needs to create boundaries for themselves, right? But if you're on this spiritual journey, like I'm on this spiritual journey, it's a must. You must have boundaries. If you don't, it will screw you up every time. It will throw you off your path, throw you off your game. Your life, the goals that you set for yourself, will, won't pan out at all. So everybody needs to create boundaries for, your, for themselves. It's a must. We have never were taught how to create boundaries for ourselves because we were always, if you are the ones that need it the most, are the people pleasers, the ones who can't say no, the ones who put themselves last the ones who uh it's service before self the ones who like in corporate america you know we're taught to kiss ass you're taught to be the yes man in the matrix in that work environment we have no boundaries you're not allowed to have boundaries and when you're growing up your parents don't really teach you about boundaries because you are meant to do what they tell you to do and when you have siblings, we never taught our siblings how to have boundaries with us as a young age. So we were never taught boundaries. And boundaries are imperative if you want to continue living in this world and be healthy and happy. So like I said before, <clears throat> individuals that are um, weak, so to speak, that were never taught boundaries, it's everybody need to implement boundaries in every aspect of their life like you know since this is we dealing with the seven dimensions of wellness seven dimensions of wellness seven dimensions of boundaries that's in your sex life in your monetary life mental life emotional life all of aspects of the seven dimensions of wellness those you have to create boundaries for those boundaries will keep you safe so let's give some like some examples of boundaries like say for instance um strangers there's a lot of damn spirits out there there's a lot of a lot of beings out there that are not human they love to invade your space they love to invade your boundaries they love to overstep their boundaries and invade your space by simple things like a hug or a handshake or they're trying to vamp you. Don't allow them to. When you see strangers on the street, especially if you are just like me, if you are a spiritual being, don't allow them to touch you. Don't allow them to touch you. Accept a hand. Accept a, a fist bump and move on. Don't allow them to. They're invading your space. And in return, you can get sick. But let's talk about loved ones, so lovers. So if you guys have love interest and um, you create boundaries as far as emotional, as far as sexual, you know, you let your partner know exactly what you want in life. And then also to help keep healthy relationships when you're inside of a home 
and you have a small, you know, if you live in a one bedroom apartment, you set time aside for yourselves to be separate, to have an hour or two by yourself inside of the house. This is a time where I don't want to be bothered. I'm going to go over here and do X, Y, Z. You go over there and do X, Y, Z. You create boundaries. Boundaries comes in all shapes and sizes, but you want to have them with everybody in your life. Your children, say for instance, you want to have a, a spiritual moment in the, the bathroom or a spiritual moment in a closet or whatever the case may be, put up some signs and let them know this is my time. This is my quiet time. This is mommy's time. I'm going to take this hour or maybe two hours to myself. I don't want to be interrupted, right? And for our siblings, you know, sometimes if you have a time where you want to take a break from the phone, the computer, you don't want to talk to anyone, you let them know, I'm taking seven days off, please do not call me, do not, you know what I'm saying? Those are boundaries that we set for family members and like, like my father, I, this is why I made this video. I'm used to being by myself. I love being by myself. I enjoy it. I embrace it. And I get very anxious when I have company. I, I, I just don't know. I love my quiet time. I love my space. I don't, you know, if I don't want to acknowledge anyone in the house, I don't, I don't feel I need to, but you know, I feel there's an urgency for me if someone is in the house to entertain them. I don't like feeling that way. So, and for my father, he has a, a destructive spirit that's inside of him. And I'm going to work on that in other ways to assist him with um, not being destructive in my house. But anyway, I um, feel as if sometimes I need to entertain him or, you know, it's just a lot. So the boundaries that I have for my father, I'm just letting him know that. If I'm in here, you know, by myself, or if I'm doing something spiritual, I don't want to be interrupted. And if you need something, I let you know that you don't touch my stuff. Let me know what you need because everything he touches, 80% of it, he destroys. So, and I know there's a spiritual concept behind that, but for right now, I don't want to deal with it. So I just let him know, do not touch anything that doesn't belong to you. And with parents, we have to put that on them because they think that we're children. I'm old. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a child anymore and I don't want to be treated like a child. So with parents, we definitely have to give them boundaries because they believe just because they had us, no matter how old we get, like they could put a rod to our ass or they can come in our homes and dictate what we are to do. And that is not true. This is where you really need to have boundaries with your parents. With everyone, but with the parents, they still have that mindset that they like own you in a sense or can dictate, run your life inside your own domain. And that is not true. We have to be respectful to them, but they need to know that, listen, this is my house and you're a guest in my home. And I don't, if I have rules that I go by, when you enter my home, you have to go by them too or find another place to live. Okay. Because I will tell you, when I didn't set boundaries and I was on this spiritual journey and I was living with, um, you know, I let people come over and stay because I love my solitude. I, at first, I didn't understand it, but I, I wouldn't have it any other way. I know that there is a mate around the corner for me and I will adjust accordingly. But for right now, I am loving it. But back then, I was, you know, still in solitude and I didn't know how to deal with people. And I would let them dictate to me what my life would look like or what they wanted me to do for them inside of my own home. And I got tired of that. I, I got tired of that. You're you you can't do that. You can't you can't do that. You can't come inside someone's domain and, and dictate to them what they're going to do for you or what is expected of no. So I say all that to say. Make sure, even if you're not on your spiritual path, if you're on your spiritual path, you must create boundaries. But if you're not on your spiritual path, it doesn't matter. You still need to create boundaries. You need to learn how to create boundaries. Take each individual in your life, especially the ones that are so 
like uh, overzealous, over um, bossy, like that are bossy, that that are pushy, that try to. I'm going to call you right back, okay? Okay. All right. But the ones that are bossy, the ones that are pushy, the ones that think that you're a doormat, those individuals in your life, everybody has to have boundaries. Everybody. Even, that's why I say even your children. So what I suggest for you guys to do is to sit down and everybody in your life, the ones that are pushed, very pushy, um, even if they're not. Even if you are a lover and it is your beautiful soulmate, you still have to have boundaries. There are things that you guys do that are differently. There are things that maybe spiritual practices that you do that are different. And you want to acknowledge that because that's love for yourself when you create boundaries. When you create the benefits of boundaries is love for thyself. Your vibration is higher. You respect it. Other people will respect you. You're, um, you are protected from those individuals that are bossy and nasty and, you know, try and push you to do things that you don't want to do. And you don't have to feel guilty. This is the biggest thing that I love about creating boundaries. You don't have to feel guilty because you set a boundary in place. You set rules and regulations on how you want people to treat you. And if they don't, then leave. They're out. Or, okay, listen, we're going to have to take some time apart because this is what, this is what I expected. This is what's supposed to take place and you overstepping your boundaries. So this is what you're going to have to do, you know, but the reason why I love boundaries is because I don't feel guilty now. When I let people know my boundaries and I I haven't gotten, I've been respected thus far. I haven't, no one has overstepped their boundaries with me, but they're shocked that I give them to them. They're very shocked. And this is what we have to realize. When you create boundaries, you, some people fear that the relationship will end once they implement boundaries. That's not true. They will respect you more. And if they don't, that means they don't really love you. So don't think that because you're trying to protect yourself, and people are looking at you as if you like an alien because you're trying to protect yourself from their nasty behavior. If they don't, they don't respect that, they don't truly love you. And you probably need to reevaluate the situation that you're in. I don't care if it's a parent or even if it's a child. A child, you're going to have to teach them the, the right way and teach them how to create boundaries with them siblings too. But I think I, I went a, a little, let me make sure. Let me see the boundaries. Oh, it reduces stress. Yes. Protection, uh, healthy relationships, high vibe, loving yourself, and um, you have a peace of mind. Definitely. So I hope you guys are able to create boundaries with the individuals that are in your life. It, they are very, very, very important. If not, people are going to walk all over you and they're not going to respect you. And in return, your life is going to be chaotic depressing because it shows that you don't love yourself creating boundaries just means healthy relationships that's all and that you love yourself and you don't have to feel guilty anymore for protecting yourself all right i love you guys i hope you guys were able to understand what i was trying to convey create some boundaries today bye